In this video, I want to go over a couple more details about the selection tools. So here I am with my editable um, cylinder, and you know I'll select uh, live selection and sweep across and choose the uh, a line of points there. Now, if I hold down the Option key, click, hold, drag, I can look behind. None of the uh, points in the back of the object were selected. That's because um, the default is to select only visible elements. So again, to refresh your memory, remember the Attribute Manager. You can show the attribute of uh, any item that you last selected. So if I click on the Selection tool, Live Selection tool, over in the Attribute Manager, the, the attributes of the Selection tool are available to me. The um, default is to only select visible elements, which is checked. Okay, So if I want to select the stuff that's not visible as well, I have to disable that. So let me disable this. And um, I'm going to adjust my camera so I'm like looking like straight on here. And I'm going to click, hold, and drag, and sweep across the uh, line of points. Now if I hold down Option, click, hold, and drag, you can see I've selected the entire, <clears throat> uh, the entire loop of points there. And in the next video, I'll, I'll talk about best practices of selection um, and how you can miss a selection. If you're looking closely, you see I missed a selection there. But I'll talk about that later. The other thing I want to point out is, okay, so if I hit the drop-down menu and I choose my Rectangle Selection Tool, now the default for that one is also only select visible elements. So just because I disabled this attribute on the first Selection Tool doesn't mean it's uh, disabled here, so be aware of that. So whenever I enable a new Selection Tool, the Rectangle Selection Tool, and I want to select what's behind it, or the, uh, the elements that aren't visible, I have to deselect that. So let me have that deselected, Rectangle Selection Tool, I'll make a big sweep here, and when I curse around, sure enough, see I, I mistakenly caught some of that stuff down there, which is a mistake, which I'll address in the next video on how to avoid that. Uh, before I leave this video, a couple of things. Uh, if you hit the drop-down menu and cursor over or pardon me, if you cursor over the the tool, you can see the shortcut for the live selection is the number 9. The uh, shortcut for the rectangle selection tool is the 0 on the keyboard, which is really handy. So 9, I can click, hold, and drag and select points with the live selection tool. 0 gives me the um, the rectangle selection tool or sometimes I refer to as the marquee selection tool. So 9 and 0, you'll be switching back and forth with those for different selection tools.